Ah, look at this beautiful skies, guys. Boy, if you don't nice get- Nice overcast, very cloudy, no sun in sight. It's my kind of weather right here. It's my kind of weather. Guys, what up, fam? It's your boy Lawrence. What's good, you guys? Good morning. I think it's 7.40 a.m. I just woke up maybe 20 minutes ago, which is why my voice sounds croggy or froggy, groggy right now. Croggy or froggy, groggy right now. Pouring live from my new house out here in Marietta. And when I get in the car, since it's low-key cold, I'm gonna fill you guys in on where I'm going. And three months ago, this would have been two red lens sitting here instead of two water bottles. Let me add a new water bottle for that collection. Oh, I'm sorry, book. What's good, guys? Listen, so let me fill you guys in on exactly where I'm going, why I'm awake so early. Actually, I always, I'm always. Uh, Larry, get your shit together, man. It's too early. We're gonna start this vlog off right. No more fuck ups, guys. This is the behind the scenes of vlogging. It's just hard like especially in the morning it's hard for words to come to your mind without you stuttering or anything like that so i'm gonna pretend like i'm having a conversation with you guys and get it together ready guys good morning let me tell you guys where i'm going exactly so i got up early per usual i got some errands i gotta run so right now i'm dipping to a car shop to get the, the tires rotated i'm not too sure what that means i just looked it up and i called it a bunch of different car mechanics and i told them Whenever I go over 60 or 70, depending on certain freeways, the steering wheel starts to wobble. He's like, it sounds like it needs to be balanced. And so I'm about to go to a car shop. They open up at 8 o'clock. And the reason why I'm going at 7.50, 7.50, is because I want to be the first one there and the first one out. So first, we're going to go to the car shop. I pray that I'm the first one there. It's a fast, swift process. Then after that, I'm going to get an oil change because the oil change needs to be done in about a couple hundred miles, but I'm out here and the homie that does my oil change lives here too, so killing two birds with one stone. No, I'm saying? Then after that, we're gonna come home, pack up my things, pack up the car, and head down to LA. We have a fitting that I have to go to. And after LA, we're gonna go straight to Vegas. La, la, yeah. la, la, wait till I give my money right. Guys, real quick, I was just on Snapchat and I was just checking the Snapchat and you know how like the front camera when it opens on you just scares you because you just you see yourself instead of the opposite camera. Tell me why I looked at myself and I said, damn, why did I have the nerve to start a vlog after waking up 20 minutes ago and my eyes look crazy? I have eye bags to the max. What? In tarnation? I actually got here two minutes early, but my plan to get here and be the first one here didn't work because there's already two cars before me. <sighs> it's all good though. We're still gonna make the best out of today. We're still gonna, it's still gonna be a fast process. It's 7.58 right now. They open at eight o'clock. Oh, the guys, the worker's pulling up right now. I think it has their logo on that truck. Let me get off the car like I've been here first. <laughs> Let me grab my handy dandy book. One of my favorite books, it's called Unf yourself and this is just a great book I ended up walking in and no one was here before me I'm the first one in spoken into existence even though I doubted it when I saw the cars parked here but it's all good we'll see how long it's gonna take it's 805 right now so I'm gonna pick up the vlog when I'm leaving and hopefully everything goes good two thousand years later tell me why it did not go as planned hopefully everything goes good uh, I'm just trying to remember to woosah just to breathe and there's more things to life to be stressed about and worrying about. So we went in there, the guy took the rims off, the tires off, within like five minutes. And he's like, brother, we have a problem, come here. So I go and he's like, your tire's bad. You need a new one right now, but I don't have any in stock, so I'm gonna have to order it. It's gonna take until the afternoon to come. I can't, I'm not waiting until the afternoon. He's like, well, it's not safe to drive on this. It's not gonna make it all the way to Vegas, I promise you that. So I was like, you know what? Let me go home, get the stock tires and the stock rims. And then I'm gonna bring it back so you can put them on. But he's charging me to install the new tires and also put the old rims back on. I'm just like, man, I'm not trying to spend all this money right now. Ah! Then I thought about it, Lawrence. I'm like, all right, we're gonna make it happy, guys. Ah, my neck is broken right now, guys. What dreams are made of? I got. Somewhere I belong, <laughs> I've got somebody to 
This is what we Guys, comment down below if you guys know where that's from. If you guys were born. Hey, hey. Guys, if you Hey, 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 hey. The other day I went and got a massage because I've been in so much pain. And while I was there, the girl that was doing a massage. While I was getting the massage, the girl was just like, she was like going in, like, mm, 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 mm. and then she goes, "You good?" And I said, "Huh? She said, Are you okay? Too hard?" And I said, "No, I like it hard. Maybe a little even harder." The next morning, I woke up. My back was so sore. It was the sorest thing ever. I have never been sore like that from the gym, from working on my back. And she made me like sore to the point where I couldn't even go to the gym that day yesterday. In the moment, it feels bomb. It feels great in the moment. Right now, I'm regretting it because I, I can't turn to the right too quick, turn to the left too quick. It just hurts, but it's okay. It's not all right, it's not okay. Someone call help for me, it's not okay. <laughs> yeah, good morning. Uh, can I get the, let's see, the four count minis? Did you want a meal? Uh, no, thank you. Okay. And then a side of hash browns. Okay. And a Chick-fil-A biscuit. Okay. And that's it. Alright, $7.90. On my way home, and I was like, you know what, Larry? I'm a little grumpy right now, and I figured it was because I was hungry, which is why I was just like, things aren't going my way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, let me just stop at Chick-fil-A. This is the only really breakfast fast food that I would eat is just Chick-fil-A. So I got myself this, and whenever I come here, the girls here, they give me like the buy six, get one free thing. What's up, doggies? What's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? Guys, I got me some breakfast. I got me some breakfast. Nothing for you though. Your breakfast is over there. Go eat it. Alright guys, I just got the shower. My room's all packed up. Packed up the car and everything. It's time for me to go with the oil change, then down to LA, then off to Vegas. Since I was in the shower, like water got into my ear and I can't really tell like... This ear isn't popping and it's bothering me because I can't tell like how I sound fully. I can't tell if I'm loud or not. No, it's not working guys. It's bothering but guys, I packed up my room. My room's all gone. Let me show you guys my closet. Fully dressed. So I have most of my clothes out in Vegas and most of my shoes are in Vegas. So everything that's here is gonna stay. I'm literally gonna be back here in a week because I have to be in LA again for the actual grand opening for this party. The reason why I'm even going to Vegas is just because I'm gonna make a bunch of different videos there, different content for you guys. Off to LA we go. We're gonna go say bye to the dogs. We got my slides because these come in handy, guys. <sighs> bye room, I'll see you later, okay? See you in a week. All right, guys, made it down to Temecula where I'm getting my oil change done at the homie shop. This is actually Omar's cousin. If you guys are ever in Temecula area, you guys need an oil change or a smog or anything like that, definitely come through to Brothers Smog. It's out here off of Temecula Parkway and Old Town Suite. All right, guys, real quick before we actually get to LA, let me explain to you guys exactly why I'm even going there. So last week, I actually got hit up from this clothing brand. It's called Boy London, and they're big on Instagram, and they're actually opening up a store here in Beverly Hills. And so they asked if I can be a promo model for their grand opening party, which is next week. I told them, of course, I'd be down. That's something different and dope. Something that I want to get into, just more modeling things. And so this is going to be a good first step in the door. So I have to go there today to get a fitting, meet everyone there. So that next week when the grand opening party is going on, I'll have all my clothes ready. So the grand opening is going to be dope. There's going to be a red carpet. There's going to be a hell of people. It's going to be an open bar. Anyone that's over 18 in the Cali area that's down to come through, it's an open event. So you guys can definitely reserve a spot to come through. From what I was told, I'm going to be walking on the red carpet the clothing and just talking to people there and i'm excited for that and then next month i have to keep coming back and forth from cali to vegas cali to vegas because uh there's different castings for different fashion shows that i got asked to be a part of too so guys it's looking good for me i'm excited for the future let's get it all right fam so i ditched the car and i'm moving on feet i'm here in beverly hills now and there's so much construction and traffic over here i don't know if it's school hours or what's going on but there was no parking. I had to park down the street and around the block. I had the fitting at two o'clock and it just turned two right now. So I'm on time, on schedule. <laughs> Got the meter across the street. This is the spot right here. Three hours later. Guys, I'm back in the car already. It's 2.40. I was there for about 40 minutes and it was pretty cool. I'm leaving right now to go to Vegas. Remember when I was saying, oh, if it's more than four and a half hours, I'm not gonna fucking go. I looked it up, it's five hours away, guys. Five hours. And I called Jessica, I was like, Jessica, should I go back home? It says it's gonna take me three hours to get home. But if I go to Vegas, it's gonna take five hours. 
She said either way, it's still gonna be a lot of driving you have to do because one, you're on the coast of California, your house is on the inland, so you driving to Vegas is just going up straight versus leaving LA, you're on the coast, you're by the water. So she was like, either way, get the f out of LA right now because traffic is just gonna get worse and worse and worse. So that's what I'm trying to do right now is make my way out of LA. I check out these pictures right now from when I was at Boy London. It was actually dope. I met the owners, I met a photographer there. They were there still getting ready. And I can tell that store's gonna be dope. They had a lot of clothing there. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just handle my business. <sighs> that little beep that just happened right now is the gaslight. I have 36 miles to get out of, get out of LA, get out. I'm vlogging for you guys almost not daily but almost every other 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 day still doing it you know what i mean it's the thought that counts it's the it's the actions that i'm taking fam and my mission to vegas begins let's just jam out bags, private selection fruit and more fresh food low prices I mean why it still says three hours and 44 minutes left i've been driving since 250 and it's five o'clock right now the time keeps going up and up and up, and I'm just like, damn. Look at this pimple coming right here. Oh, hell no! Not a good look, man. But yeah, guys, I hate driving on freeways that I've never driven on before. I just get anxiety because I'm used to, even if I've driven on a road once, I'll remember it. But a road I've never been on before, a freeway I've never driven on, I just get like mini heart attacks and anxiety. I just wanted to pull over right now because I saw water. It's like a lake. Guys, comment down below if you've been to Palmdale. I've never been here before, but there's a lake right here. I just want to get on and show all of you guys. I have no idea where I'm at. I've never been here before in my life. Where am I? Anyways, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy today's adventurous vlog. Stay on the lookout for the <laughs> the wind. Look out for all these Las Vegas vlogs, Las Vegas content. Be sure to leave a thumbs up. See you soon. <sighs> I had a dream I could buy my way to heaven. When I woke, I smit that on a necklace. I told God I'll be back in a second. Man, it's so.